Okay, y'all, don't come for me. But look at my bamboo plant. So I'm going to insert a photo somewhere here to the right of when my plant was like thriving and flourishing. So I got this plant in 2018 when I lived in Chicago. And when I tell you all anywhere that this plant can go with me, I took it with me. Even like, don't judge me, on the plane, in the car, it had a little seatbelt on. But last year, about a year ago, I moved to a new location. And I don't know if it's the air quality or what, but I just noticed my plant begin to die. And due to the fact that we had been through so much together, because I'm a plant mom, and that I had just saw it grow so beautifully, I didn't want to let it go, as you can see, even up to this point. Um, and I just felt strongly this morning when I got up to let it go. And it's sad because I'm so, I don't want to say attached to it. I was attached to the beauty and the growth and the nourishment of it. Um, but the Bible says for us to lay aside everything that is not producing life. And I know many people may think this is extreme, but this was a revelation for me. I'm allowing this to sit in my home because I have so much hope for it. No matter what I do, I don't know how many times I have repotted it. I've taken it to plant mamas. It's just not thrived. It's not flourished. And I can't continue to hold on to it because, see, I'm like, look, well, it's still got a little green in it. But look at the end. So this is just a word for someone to not be afraid to release the dead things in your life. Um, when something is dead, let it go. Don't continue to linger on. Don't continue to hold on to it. You have to know that God has something greater for you. And you have to realize that the more you hold on to things that are not producing life, the more you hold on to things that are dead, is the more time you waste when you could have been receiving things that have life and that double the vitality within yours. So I just wanted to share this word as I let my plant baby go. I'm so sad still, but it's a word.